welcome back. Today we're out in the kayaks again. Me and Dan, Dan along for the ride. Uh, we're fishing. Where are we fishing? Coinbridge Spit. What's that? Yellow boy there. Uh, target today's bass. Maybe, maybe some hounds around here. So let's see the main target's bass. I've got ragworm and uh, picked up some hardbacks. Couldn't get no peelers. We'll do that time. So, uh, yeah, the tide's just, uh, well, it's about an hour till low tide. Fishing, fishing in 5.8 meters. <sighs> Nothing yet, just a crab. So yeah, like an idiot, I forgot my GoPro bar bracket, whatever you call it, to go on the end. So uh, I've had to hold it today. So Dan the man, just cameraman the cameraman today. today, if we catch some fish, we've moved moved spots now. There's literally no tide run today. They're quite small tides. So, uh, I don't know if anyone can guess where we're fishing. This is about the limit we can get in without getting kicked out. So, uh, see how long we last here. Hopefully the tide starts pulling a bit in a minute because there's just nothing apart from crabs at the moment and we're just wasting worms. So yeah, see how it goes. First fish today. Dinner, so I'm gonna put him out of his misery. Okay, man. Lovely, lovely first fish, eh? The unknown fisherman is in again. So we change positions again. Getting a little bit closer, getting loads of bites. I just lost a nice fish, started swimming up tide. I was trying to mess around with the GoPro and uh, it come off, unfortunately. But it's looking good. So, yeah, so far so good. Another little fish. 
I'm gonna have to go right home about. Let's get this one in and released quickly. Just a little one. Oh, she's a baby. Just a little one. I hate touching bass. Because of that. That's why you've got to be careful. Them spikes. So we've had the first bite for ages. And we've got a little bass out. Oh, oh that's better. Look up, Nimsa. Having a bit of a situation with my reel at the moment. Everything seems to be breaking. to fight another day so as you can see here we have the typical lad from Sittenborn eating with his fingers they clearly have no manners <laughs> in the mainland oh, <laughs> lovely lovely so we're just chilling the bikes have stopped, the tide's turned. What a glorious day. I am getting absolutely burnt to a crisp. Applying 30, factor 30 every 10 minutes or so, I think. Drying straight out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very hot. No breeze. So, yeah. So we decided to come for a little mooch. You can find some other fishing spots because we won't get nothing there. Let's have a little look what's under here then. Know well you can see this on the GoPro but how are you feeling about being under here then Dan? <laughs> Bit creepy, it's well creepy. I bet this in here is alive with fish. What? No, no, you've got ages to go, yeah. There's a lot of history around here, Dan. Yeah, this this is around here, like, before the wars, like, Nelson and that was here. Obviously, yeah. these weren't built. But yeah, Shenan's has got a lot of history. Should we go fishing? Turn back around. I'm gonna have a little mooch. Go that way. Yeah, go that way. Go catch some fish. So we're currently under the docks and it is creepy under here. There's absolutely loads of fish under it. Trying to find, trying to fish under it, bit of a nightmare. It's only a metre deep under here.
a minute. Dan's gonna have a fish biting on that. <laughs> Those little bass biting at the moment. Oh, it's gone camera shy again. <laughs> Make sure you wash that out. Oh, there's a fish there. I don't know what it was. Bass or a mullet. Just sitting. Sitting round these pillars. Don't know how far this GoPro is seeing down. There's definitely fish sitting here, just waiting. So this is it. This is Dan, the man, with a bass. So do you feel better? You haven't blanked. I wouldn't say it's got teeth, mate. It's got spines. How do I go old? <laughs> so this is Dan's, Dan's first experience of handling bass. Go for the gills. Yeah, grab it for the gills if you want, Dan. How do you, how do you grab it? I'll just grab it around the body. Away from them spikes. Oh. Got a bite. Yeah, I won't worry about the teeth though. This fish is just going to be cow shot to handle that. Oh. <laughs> Are you alright? God, I'm not even coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out what. Oh, wow, yeah, you've been riding that for all this time. <laughs> First bass? Second bass actually. Second First bass. On this trip. Okay, so do you want to see it released? <laughs> oh, that. This is how not to release a bass. <laughs> and she's gone. Terrible handling. Well done Dan. Bring on the next one. Danny's got another fish. It's that lucky rod. Dan, what happened, mate? I don't know. Like, are you all just going crazy? Move out a little bit. Pond fisherman, eh? <laughs> Decent one, isn't it? Take it in line. Go on, the Dan. Get mine out of the way. Gonna need to net this. Oh, Dan, that's a lovely fish. I'll get the net for that. Let it take line, let it take line. Look at that rod. Hold on, don't rush it, don't rush it. Play it. Oh lovely, that, Dan, that comes from carp fishing mate, doesn't it? <laughs> right, let's line out your rod, I've got the net, that won't disappear. Drop the weight down. So Dan, is that the biggest of the day? That's it. Kiss your rod. 
got a big bass on. That's dinner. How you feeling then? Tell the guys at home. We're, we changed places now. Changed spots. Changed spots. We're out just off the bass barge. If everyone knows what the bass barge is. Lose that over the side. That's it. Yeah, it's it out for a picture quick and then uh, I'll sort it out for you. It's a lovely fish that, Dan. Yeah, look up. Look at me then for the camera. What is that? Another little bass. You alright? I'm looking at that. Another bass for Dan. The lucky rod. Right, I just want to run you through our uh, traces today quickly. Tactics we've been using all day, both rods. Boom. The sliding trace, flowing trace. Where what I use all the time, you can't go wrong with it. 30 pound, fear amnesia on. 2-0, up tidy nooks, nice and strong. Juicy, juicy red worm. I have been fishing our back crab on one rod for a little while today, but I had nothing. Okay, four or five turns around, back for the worm, tighten that up. I think I died. It ain't died. It ain't died. Danny boy. Same as dogfish. Don't use that. No, no it's not been a puff. Not carp fishing. That is a proper shark. Shame he's big big grabber. Ain't a bad. I can't see it because your hand's in the way. Smile. Go. Quick release. Lovely. Lovely.
All right, that's us done for this little session. Oh, look at that seal out there. We've come right out of the water then. I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro. That literally did half its body come out of the water. I've never seen that before. Oh, I said I had the last fish. But I think this is going to be the last fish. Lovely little bass there. He's in. Could this be his last fish of the day? Bring it is, bass. Smooth bound. Nothing. Oh. Slide that one back on, chuck it back out. Last chance to loop. Oh, I think this is going to be the last fish of the day. Oh, little snowbound. You want to clap? Baby hound dog. <sighs> Lovely little snowbound. That's us done for the day. Nice little session today. Caught quite a few fish, a lot of bass, a lot of small bass. We've got two keepers. So uh, they'll be going on the barbecue when I get home. So thanks for watching the video. And if you like it, give it a like. And if you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button and you will. Right, this is our little session done today. 20 to 4 now, we've been out here since what, 9 o'clock? Yeah, caught a few fish, got two keepers for the barbecue tonight. Dan's caught a few fish, he's happy. So, all in all, good little session. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, give us a little subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, and uh, see you next time.